Here's that mic. We'll see how it goes. Um, okay, have you guys ever seen those like literally folded up bikes that women, or I guess men, but in this case, I saw a woman with like literally a folded up bike. Has anyone seen those in the city? Yeah. Ridiculous. I look at that and I'm like, man, like, I don't know, I feel like you have to go through a lot in life to think that you need a bike with you at all times. Like, I don't know, there must be different types of women. Like, there's some women with, like, the purse and the little chihuahua in the purse, and they're carrying that around. It's like, maybe there's just two types of women, like, one that's going through so much in life that you, like, they need to immediately exit at any time, and they have this folded up bike that's just ready to go at all times. You know, like, maybe there's two different types of women completely. Um, we'll work on it, we'll work on it. So, I was also thinking about how modern day, there's like a lot of ghosting going on modern day. Anyone ever felt that before? Mm -hmm. It's not a good feeling at all. It, it kind of makes you feel a little lonely. Um, and so I know that they say that there's a missing person is identified after 48 hours. So I kind of wanted to get a little crowd worker to ask, what do you guys think, it, what's it considered? How many hours does it have to be when it's like this person is considered ghosting? Shout out. 48. Really? Do you think it's 48 days? Yeah, it's 52 days. Or 72? <coughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I, there's there's not really um, much of a punchline with that one. But like I said, these are these are new. These are new, and I'm working on it. Um, well, how about relationships? Anyone in relationships that's like in here right now, or thinking of being anyone? Okay, that's what's up. You guys ever go sightseeing? You ever been to um, Niagara Falls? No. Okay. Well, I moved here. I'm from Portland, Oregon. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> um, and I'm not sure how many minutes we got here, but you know, we'll go with it. My girl was like, let's go to Niagara Falls. And I was like, okay, well, let's go. And then she said, well, make sure that you don't wear any clothing that's, um, that you care about getting wet because it's kind of like Splash Mountain at Disneyland, like it's a wet experience. And then I kind of like nod my head, I'm like, yeah, that's fine, I'll just wear normal things. Um, well, now we can add this to the bucket list. And I said, oh, which part? Going to Niagara Falls, or are you giving me a wet experience? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. Men try their best, absolutely. It's, it's a camaraderie put together. It's a complicated lesson. To female anatomy, it's complicated. It's, it's like a delicate flower. So it's got to be hard to find a spot, but at least they're taking, um, trips and stuff like that, you know? There's there's attempts and all of that. Uh, let's see. How about getting into fights with boyfriends or girlfriends? It happens from time to time, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not so much fun. What do you guys do? What are some uh, coping, coping, should I say coping mechanisms? I don't know. Uh, coping mechanisms for when you do get into fights. What you, like, Communication. Communication. Breathe. Breathe. Mm -hmm. Take a walk. Take a walk, that's good, get some fresh air. Um, I was watching on YouTube, there's this guy named Tom Ballou, and he tells his wife every time that they're fighting, if he doesn't understand what she's saying, I cannot, I'm not able to penetrate your frame of mind right now. And I, <laughs> I thought about this for a little bit, at first I was like, okay, if my boyfriend said that to me during a fight, I'd be like, can you penetrate what? <laughs> oh, that, like, let's make sure we keep this PG-13 or something. But then I, I actually put more thought into it, and I was like, wait, he's using the word penetrate while they're in a fight, and so she's upset or cross at him. But I thought about it longer, and I was like, Tom DeLue is a genius. He keeps her thinking about <laughs> penetration, even in the midst of a fight. I'm like, okay, I see how that works for him, actually. <laughs> um, okay, we got the light. So that's pretty much that. Um, let's see. Okay, again. <laughs> this is the last time of the night. I got like maybe 30 seconds. So, how are we doing, you guys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are we all ready to get the fuck out of here? <laughs>
That's what's up. Um, well, I think honestly, um, I'll leave it right there because I don't want to go over. But I really appreciate the time tonight. Thank you so much, guys. Woo!